Karen. Well, severe weather preparedness is especially important for kids at camps and other summer programs. It's a common practice for those camps to have emergency plans in place to guide them. We caught up with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Grand Rapids to give us an idea of what that actually looks like for them. Now, over the summer, about 2,500 kids visit the Boys and Girls Club camps. The club makes sure well before the possibility of a tornado or other severe weather that those kids are aware of how to respond. That includes where to go and what to do. The center's community liaison tells us they will first attempt to take all of the kids to the back hallway inside the center in the event of severe weather. Now they are instructed to line up against the wall, getting as low to the ground as possible and tucking their heads down. Now, if they cannot get to that location, they will stay where they are and take the same precautions. Again, that's crouching down against the wall inside the center with their heads as low as possible. Being prepared ahead of time is the most important thing anyone can do. I think one of the biggest challenges would be just keeping them calm. Um, which is why we try to say it during announcements. So say if anything like that happens, just make sure you keep your eyes on us, keep your ears open and listen to us. But the biggest challenge would probably just be their emotions. Um, they're not knowing what's really going on. They don't know how to react, how to respond. But I think preparing them and doing those announcements will help them during that moment just to say, hey, listen to us. We got your back. We know what to go, where to go, what to do. Now the folks at the Boys and Girls Club have routine emergency drills and conversations about severe weather during their announcement. If you are curious about the emergency plan at your children's camps or recreation centers, you are encouraged to ask in advance. Back to you guys.